If you're looking for help fixing your FireSense gas patio heater, look no further. Our comprehensive FireSense gas patio heater troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Patio heater troubleshooting. Here are some sure signs that your patio heater isn't working properly. The heater won't start. A gas patio heater won't start with the ignition switch but can be lit with a match or lighter. The heater stops working after a few minutes. Reduced heat output and or flame production. Starting issues or reduced heat production. Outdoor furniture and fixtures accumulate dust, dirt, and debris. When these elements stack up on a patio heater's gas or electric heating element, the heater may have starting issues or reduced heat production. If your patio heater has these issues, cleaning it could be all you need to do. To clean the burner or heating elements, remove the emitter screen to expose the burner or element. Because these should be kept dry, use compressed air to blow off dust and dirt instead of a damp cloth. Reattach the screen to clean a gas burner's individual ports. Remove the emitter screen and take a pipe cleaner or straw brush to remove dirt and debris. Once clean, reattach the screen. The gas heater doesn't stay lit or heat production is reduced. A gas patio heater requires proper gas pressure to function properly. Without it, the pilot tube and burner may not receive enough gas to keep the heater lit. Or the burner's flame and heat production will be reduced. Low gas pressure is usually caused by broken, kinked, or otherwise damaged gas lines. To fix damaged gas lines, first visually inspect all the heater's gas lines inside and out. That connects to the primary gas source. Kinked lines are easy to spot, but cracked or broken lines that produce leaks may be more difficult. You can use a leak detection spray to make leaks more visible. Any damaged lines should be replaced. To do this, use a wrench to loosen and remove both ends of the gas line connections. Then connect both ends of the new gas line to the heater and tighten them with the wrench. The propane igniter won't fire up the heater. Many gas patio heaters are equipped with a spark igniter aka sparker. A small electrode that ignites the pilot light to get things started. Over time, spark igniters fail. If you can successfully start the heater with a match or lighter, the igniter is probably the problem. To test the spark igniter, use a screwdriver to remove the screws holding the screen around the main burner aka emitter screen. This will expose the ignition assembly, which consists of the spark igniter pilot tube, and thermocouple. Hold down the ignition switch to visually inspect for a spark. If no spark is detected, you may need to replace the igniter. To replace the spark igniter, note that it is usually secured to the ignition assembly by a single retainer nut that can be removed with a wrench. On the other end, it's usually linked to the ignition switch wiring with a pushing connector that can be easily pulled out by hand. Once you remove the old spark igniter, Simply reverse the process to install the new one. You can purchase a universal igniter compatible with all patio heaters, or one designed for your heater's specific brand. The pilot won't light or stay lit. If the spark igniter produces a spark but the pilot won't light or stay lit, a clog in the gas supply line to the pilot could be to blame. The pilot feed tube located on the ignition assembly and attached to a small brass fitting aka orifice connects the pilot tube supply line to the heater's main gas line. Often, one or both of these components becomes clogged with insects, carbon deposits, or accumulated dust and debris. To unclog the line, start by removing the emitter screen with a screwdriver to expose the ignition assembly. Grab a small wrench and loosen the orifice from the gas line. Use a toothpick, needle, or compressed air to remove the blockage from the pilot tube and orifice. Then reconnect the orifice to the gas line. Finally, reattach the screen.